Hey, yo, what up, y'all? This your boy, DJ Shoeshine, man, and we are back. You heard me? It is the 2018 season of Shoeshine Radio, and I want to personally thank you for tuning in. You know what I'm talking about. Make sure y'all spread that word for your boy this season. iTunes is where we at at Shoeshine Radio. You know what I'm talking about? And you can also download Podomatic on your smartphone. Search Shoeshine Radio, and you can find us there as well. You know what I'm saying? But coming up, man, taking y'all to the 305, you know what I'm talking about talking to a beautiful talented female singer rapper and dancer by the name of lala so it's going down in the major way you know what i'm talking about it's the first episode of the 2018 season of shoe shine radio like i said i thank you for tuning in y'all keep it locked boy let's go mm-hmm. dj dj shoe I need you, babe. I need you. You know I want you, babe. I need you. You know I 
Hey, yo, you're on the line with DJ Shoeshine. Who'd I had the pleasure of speaking with tonight? DJ Shoeshine. It's Lala. <laughs> How you doing, love? What's going on, baby? How you doing? I want to, first of all, welcome you to the show. Welcome. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. I, truly, I'm look, I was looking forward to this. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. And I'm honored to have you as the first guest of Shoeshine Radio 2018. So, had to throw that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, no doubt, no doubt. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and get this interview process started. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, for me and my listeners, you know, just take me back down memory lane. Just share with me, you know, when did music begin for you? Oh, man. Music began for me in 2008. Yeah, this is, this will be year number 10 for me. So, 2008. Uh, I never was the one to be the artist I didn't sing I didn't rap or anything at the time I was just dancing backup dancing Mm -hmm. and I was literally still in high school and I was literally at the point where we were in the studio one day before a show because I used to backup dance behind another female artist who rapped herself and it was so funny because we were in the studio we had time it was right before a show and they literally were like hey anybody does they rap or you or anything and I'm looking around like don't look over here at me at all don't even do it so (laughs) they ended up writing (laughs) it was was so crazy I I literally was dodging like trying to dodge the whole joke Mm -hmm. and they ended up writing like little simple verses and they were like go in go in so the other two dancers were super excited they went in and did it and they were like bye you gotta do it and I'm like okay I'll try it so long story short with that one I went in and did it. It was so, I hope no one ever hears it, like, ever in life again. Um, <laughs> it was back in, like, my space days. And literally, they they played the song one time. The guy, the producer reached out to me. He was like, La, you have a lot of potential. I love your tone. I like your voice. Mind you, at this time, it was completely different. Like, I sound like a little chipmunk. It was ridiculously hilarious. Yeah. So... Uh, fast forward to about a year after that, uh, I broke away from that producer, uh, basically because he, I got into the fact of saying, okay, I do like writing. Mm-hmm. I started writing my own material and it was like a clash of, he didn't want me to be so lyrical and he wanted me to stay like bubble gum. At the time I was like 17 or 18, like yeah. it was really one of those, he wanted to keep me super duper young and also keep me in a box. Mm-hmm. So... I then started writing for myself. Uh, then my mother became my manager. She was also a R&B singer a couple of years before that. Like she was super duper like popping in Miami. Mm-hmm. And she came to me and she was like, you know what? Back when I first asked her about rapping, I was like, Mom, I think I want to rap. And she was like, all right now, <laughs> if you are whack, you know what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> so I was like, I'm shaking in my boots. Like, literally let her hear, like, the very first verse that I, I wrote. She was like, whoa, you have, like, super-duper, like, potential. Yeah. From then on, it, it grew legs of its own. I still, to this day, don't know how uh, my following and my fan base even grew that much. Like I said, it was back in my space thing. So, it was like, throw your song up on the page. Like, <laughs> people right. like, who is this? I had a song called Lullabop. It was my very first song. Oh, wow. The funniest song ever. I still hope no one hears it ever. <laughs> hey, I'm going to have to try to look that up, you know. <laughs> no, don't do it. I know that MySpace account still you up, so. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, from there on, I just, I continued. I dropped mixtapes. I had about three mixtapes that I, I put on that. Those are still up. That thing was not on there, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the mixtapes are still up. Um, and from there on, I just went forward and I just continued to say, I want to grow in this industry. Uh, also being a female rap artist, I just got more into singing, but as a female rap artist, I also love to add the fact that I'm a dancer. I'm a professionally trained dancer uh-huh. and also a backup dance for, for quite a few artists. So I have that advantage I feel and that I want to incorporate and keep incorporating that into my craft and my brand and things like that. So yeah, that's, that's, 
that's la la in the, the early stages. Early stages. <laughs> That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Now, I know I know Miami was just blessed with yet another successful Funk Fest. You know what I'm saying? People, if you've never been to Funk yes. Fest, especially in Miami, you got to book your ticket and get there. So, <laughs> got to. Got to. Had, to had to put that out there, you know. So, you were also mm-hmm. one of the performers on that showcase. So, you know, just share with me, you know, what was it like performing on that stage along with an all star? group of performers <laughs> uh that show was a, that was actually um my last show of being a backup dancer for uncle luke wow. so okay for the past two years two and a half years i've been with uncle luke um hip-hop pioneer here in miami pretty much hands down yeah. created the music scene here to be so popping as it as it was Mm-hmm. as well as the entire music industry with the whole censored um, albums and singles and things like that. So when it came to that show, it was kind of like one of those emotional things because I had gotten to the point where I was like, now, La, it's time for you to branch off and do your thing and take your career completely serious. Right. Not being a backup dancer, but being in the forefront as an artist. Gotcha. So it was an amazing show. Um, Luke always treats his shows where... It's a party. So we have this part in, in between where we go back and forth. And, of course, he obligated me to do the whole back and forth thing, do my ladies run this, yeah. he does do my fellas run this. So it's kind of fun to, to, to grasp that mic at the time. At mm-hmm. time, I told him, I was like, I almost thought I was going to burst on you for a second. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do it to you. But it... it Funk Fest is just, and we've done probably about seven Funk Fest within mm-hmm. the last two years, and I've been a part of each one. Wow, um, okay. That was our very first show that they did down here in Miami two years ago. Okay. And I think that was 2015, 2016, one or two. Mm-hmm. But it's such a hype show. Like, all of his shows in itself are Funk Fest. For some reason, Funk Fest gives but I don't know if it's because it's so huge. They put so much, like, in the back end of production and everything, and this show, he had like a whole video skit, like pretty much like how we did for the BET Awards. Gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, that was lit. It was lit. <laughs> yeah, that was super litty right there, man. Super, super. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you know, coming up. So who were some of your favorite artists, whether past or present, that you would consider an influence or an inspiration to the way you create your music? Oh man, it hands down has to be Tupac because that was like one of the first male artists that my mom was bumping like every single day she wow. had to take the set flying down to her Toyota Celica <laughs> everywhere and that's all she played <laughs> that's all she played um and I grew up pretty much listening to him then from him it went to Outkast and under 2000 is like my hands down favorite between him and Puck okay then from him it jumps to Missy and T-Pain and it's a number of artists but I I can tell for myself I gravitate to more as artists that are unique and original in their brand and in their their craft so I would say between under 3000 and Tupac that's just like my my it two things I never really got into female rappers yeah until people started telling me that I started I sound like left eye and I'm like I sound like left eye wow. oh I mean like I, I I love her as an artist, but I just knew her from I was little. I knew her from the all that song, like <laughs> the <laughs> yeah. Elements of Sean Nick. So I didn't really know except for like the, the singles that they have. So I never really listened to her. So those are like my inspiration, more manly type things. Yeah, if that makes any sense. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. That's a great list of people, mm-hmm. though. Andre 3000, my boy, Machiavelli. I'm a huge Pac fan, too. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. <laughs> shout out to you and shout out to my boy, Machiavelli. So, man. Yes. Yes. I have this joke, man. People just, they think it's a joke, but it's not really a joke, but it's a joke at the same time where I'm like, every time someone says something about him, I'm like, oh, yeah, Tupac's my dad. <laughs> and, and I keep going and they'll be like, wait, what? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. I love it. Every time. <laughs> so, man, 2018 is already starting great, and for two reasons, y'all. I got the beautiful Lala in the shoe shop tonight, and also number two, this new single that we're about to talk about, which is entitled Pick Up. It's on iTunes right now, and I need all my people to pick it up right now. So, yes, right now. 
<laughs> Talented Queen, just talk to me real quick. You know, what inspired your new single, Pick Up? Talk to me about it. It's, it's a funny story, but I like to be as forward and blunt and relatable in my records. Mm-hmm. And pick up, once you hear the song, it's saying pick up the phone, the N-I-D-G-A. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, it's coming from, it's my thing is to come from the female aspect and be real, being blunt, like, we have times that we go through things with guys and they're not picking up our phone calls. Right. And it's not necessarily saying we're being the crazy girl. I mean, they may not be interested. They may be in the bathroom. They may not be able to answer their phone. They may be still at work. There may be anything. Yeah. So my thing is in that song, I literally took a lot of different concepts and things I've been through, friends have been through, that I've heard other people have been through. And I kind of just mushed it into one and made it like a, a humorous record, but also still real. Gotcha. If that makes any sense. So, and it, the song is pretty self-explanatory. It's saying, pick up the phone. I'm trying to love you. And it's like, hey, answer your phone. I, I want to talk to you because I want to love you. Right, <laughs> so right. <basically>, cool, <laughs> cool, cool. That's what's up. That's a great, uh, man. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm telling y'all, when y'all hear the song, y'all gonna be like, shoe shine. You're gonna have to throw that in rotation once again. The song is hot, y'all, so I need y'all to pick it up right now. Thank you. <laughs> now, alongside Thank your music, you. you also were a professional background dancer, you know what I'm saying, like you said, for Luke. So, mm-hmm. what does it take for you to balance all the gifts that you were blessed with, that you are blessed with? It's hard. Mm. It's, it's definitely not easy. But I don't know if it's the Virgo in me where I just, I try to lay it out and make sure I just can t- tamper and tackle everything at its designated time. Mm. Like at, when I'm backup dancing, I dedicate that to backup dancing. When I'm in artist mode, I'm dedicated to artist mode. And I've found that it works a whole lot better when I do it that way. When I try to mesh everything together, my brain goes haywire. I right. <laughs> don't know what is going on. <laughs> so once I know my main focus is on whatever needs to be focused on at that moment, mm. I pre-plan and I make sure I get everything together because not only am I just a backup dancer for Luke at the current moment, I also am slash choreographer slash wardrobe stylist slash... <laughs> Jack of <laughs> all everything up and make sure we have it for shows you know so it's, it's a number of things that are pretty much put on my back which I, I, I appreciate and I love because that shows uh, the ability that I can handle a lot of things but also it does get a little overwhelming at times because I want to focus so much of, of being Lala the artist right right okay yeah so yeah. But definitely yeah. comes with all planning yeah, you know, because, you know, checking you out on Instagram, you know, y'all follow my girl at La La Music on Instagram. Yes. She sings, she y'all raps. Add the H. Oh, yeah, you definitely got to add the H to it, too, y'all. But, man, just, you know, singer, dancer, you know, hip hop, female MC. So, I mean, definitely got to salute you on that, you hear me? Thank you. Thank you so much. And I always have to throw this question in somewhere during the interview. Uh oh. Now, now, we, <laughs> what is it? now we're not gonna get too personal, but uh <laughs> but check this okay. out. Okay. So Lala's in the studio. Mm-hmm. Who's that dream collaboration with and why? Oh my god, Andre three thousand. <laughs> listen, yeah. I don't even know what'll come out of that session. All I know is I'll I'll Tears of joy the entire session. They'd be like, "Can you please tell that girl to stop crying?" Because <laughs> I'll be crying the whole time. Because this man's genius. I also would love to have Big Boy there too as well, though. Yeah. Because he's literally like a silent ninja killer. Mm-hmm. Like I can tell. Like you can listen to the records. It's not just under three thousand. It's them together. So. If I can get them in the studio and make some amazing things happen, hands down, I'm, 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 I'm there. So I'm Unless there Tupac guys. comes back and then we find him and Cuba or something, <laughs> and we just <laughs> we just make that happen. That's another 
hands down thing. Definitely, definitely. Definitely has to be under 3,000 between him and Big Boy together. Like, amazing. That would be a dope, dope collaboration. You know, I got listeners yeah. on the East Coast, West Coast, the UK. So I know the word is going to get out. So somebody yeah. from the Outcast yeah, team is going to be reaching out to you. I just had to put that in the atmosphere. <laughs> Please put it out in the universe. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Now, when you're not in the studio making hit records, you know, or blessing people with your stage presence, what does Lala like to do in her free time? Oh my God, when I could catch a free time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. If I'm not if I'm not on stage, if I'm not studio wise, like I'm literally probably somewhere knocked out either leaning across somebody's chair, like yeah. <laughs> or in the, in the bed. But for fun I'm like a water based person. So it's it's cold in Miami right now, which I'm aggravated about. But normally I'll be on the beach or something, out by the pool, like it's regrouping and rebalancing my mind because like like how you say you know that I, I do so much so I try to do anything that's chill as possible gotcha doesn't require too much thinking like <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want nobody to ask me my name because I don't even want to think about what that name is at those <laughs> times so that's <laughs> that's what I'm doing when I'm not cool, running cool. around ripping and running that's what's up I'm with that now you know you have so many female artists whether they're singers rappers uh instrument players you know breaking into this industry you know rapidly you know what i'm saying so what's some advice you know i look at you as a veteran in the game over 10 years so what's some advice (laughs) that you would give to the female listeners out there that's trying to break into this industry Oh, I definitely would say, I was just preaching this to my mom, it's so funny. I would say just stay true to who you are, your craft, your morals, and just make sure that whatever you're doing makes you happy. Mm-hmm. Don't listen to what everyone, because this industry right now, and now I can speak from entertainment-wise, it's no right or wrong anymore. Right. So it's like, you stick to whatever makes you feel good, especially if you have a great following, you have people that support you mold yourself into you don't have anyone come to you and say hey you sound or you should do this like this person is already out there running their lane right stay in your lane do what you feel and i'm i promise you you will win i promise just stay dedicated humble just make sure you get what you need to do on your end and just work that thing how you can work it because it's like I said, there's no right or wrong in this industry anymore. And people are looking for innovation, even though they're they're okay with what's going on. And I'm going to speak musically. They're okay with what's coming out musically in the hip hop world. Mm-hmm. But I can tell that a lot of people are still yearning and they're looking for that uniqueness. That's why a lot of the people that are coming out, like the Cardi B's, the Dead Slow's, the even I, I can't call out too many female artists as of right now off the back of my head, but it's a lot of artists that you hear and they're like, see, she pop, but I'm like, that's a new, that's a new sound. Right. That's innovation. Mm-hmm. So that's my thing. So stick to that. I understand everybody want to make it at that, at the right now, but stick to, to what you are and stick to your direction. Take, take a little feedback here and there. Be humble. Be receptive to constructive criticism but also still stay true to yourself that's my main thing hey and that's 100 right there from the beautiful la la <laughs> <laughs> so you know for the listeners out there that's listening you know they gotta know they gotta know so how can we follow this beautiful artist right here so let the people know what your social media info is okay so you guys can follow me on instagram twitter what else am I on? I'm on every day. Jesus. Um, <laughs> La La Music, L A L A H. L A L A H Music. Make sure you add the H or you probably won't find me. Um, and we want La La on everything else, whether it's Vimeo, YouTube, uh, Facebook, everything are my fan pages. They're either La La Music or La La. Hey. That's about it. I'll let me. I talk, I talk to people. I talk back to people all the time. <laughs> I don't have that. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you type thing. I'll laugh with you. you feel like I know you. So Yeah, that's what's I'll up. Take that talk back. Humble, <laughs> humble at its finest. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Straight up. 
Oh, I had to put that little Machiavelli tone in there. It's finest. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I love it. But man, you know, but I've enjoyed you. You know, I thank you for taking time out of your schedule to chop it up with me and my listeners. You know, you got any shout outs you want to throw out to the people right now? Thank you so much. I just really want to shout out to everyone that has supported me from day one, even those who are getting ready to get to know who Lala is as an artist. And I definitely think it's going to be a fun road. Stick around. I appreciate it. Shout out to Miami 305. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and shout out to you guys, Shoe Shine Radio, you, DJ Shoe Shine. I really appreciate you having me come on and chat about my little life. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. It only gets bigger from here. So. We just here for the ride, you know what I'm saying? We definitely going to yes. keep supporting you and, you know what I'm saying, my team is following you, so everything that you do music-wise will repost it and, you know, just show our genuine Thank love you. like that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Truly, truly, truly. No diggity, no doubt. But, yo, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. It's the world premiere, the Shoe Shine Radio premiere of this new single pickup by the beautiful Lala. Go ahead and introduce it to the people on time, my love. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Lala. Right now, you get ready to be tuned in to my new debut single, Pick Up. Pick up the phone, bitch. I'm trying to love you. <laughs> right here on Shoe Shine Radio, man. Y'all keep it locked. Please leave your message for 305-902-703. You need to answer my call when I call. Pick up the phone, bitch. Yeah. I'm trying to love you. I'm trying to love you. Yeah. See me calling you, act like I'm bothering you, pull up like I'm stalking you, pick up the phone, Nick, you got me going crazy, I'm trying to have your babies, so you just post, don't play me, pick up the phone, Nick, I'm trying to love you, I'm trying to love you, I'm trying to love you, pick up the phone, Nick, I'm trying to love you. She better have hands, that's it Pick up the phone, Nick Cause your mama love me Part of the family Christmas and everything Pick up the phone, Nick I'm trying to love you I'm trying to love you I'm trying to love you Pick up the phone, Nick I'm trying to love you Wants to love you like yeah. Answer the phone, kid Hope it's a perfect excuse, kid You tryna play it You bought them games You bought them games Pick up the phone, Nick I'm tryna love you I'm tryna love you I'm tryna love you Pick up the phone, Nick I'm tryna love you I'm tryna love you I love you. <laughs> mm-hmm. DJ, DJ, Shusha, Shusha.